City Egg, and welcome back to another episode of Cabby Crew Simulator here in Roblox, where we're back within the brand new update. Now, there's lots of things that have changed in here, and one thing that we never knew that we're going to change until the update log came out was the simple fact that in updates, they've also changed the fire emergency, uh, fire emergency updated, and sound effects added. So I want to see what they've actually done to this right now. We're going to actually go and crash a plane on purpose. I know, sounds absolutely terrifying right now. But boys, if you are enjoying these new Cabby Crew Simulator videos and want to see more of this brand new update, let me know what you want to see next, boys. There's so much more stuff I've still got to do and check out and test out. If you want to see more, boys, smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But... I think without further ado, we should go and create a flight. So how big should we go? Uh, I'm not too sure. Let's pick Fool's Air. Should I go for the Fool's Airplane? I think I should. I think I should kind of stick with the brand new Fool's Airplane. Now, if you're not using this livery, boys, uh, I highly recommend doing so. I'm, tr I'm trying to set myself a goal right now with getting this livery into the most downloaded list. Uh, the, the bottom most downloaded one that I need to overtake is Noob Pirate's Livery with 3,419. If you just search Fools uh, and press enter, my livery comes up. I am so many sales away. If you guys could utilize it, try and get me into the top list, I would appreciate that right now. So the sea layout's looking pretty good right now. We've got like almost maximum passengers. Oh my goodness, man, I'm, I'm moving all over the place here right now. I can't, I can't move my mouse. What's going on? There we go. Um, we've still got so much stuff that we need to kind of um, do and expand. So I can reduce the leg room. I think what I'll do, I'm going to put maximum leg room in. I, whoa! These seats allow you to get even more people on board. If I go to the original seats, seat layout, 16. Damn! You kind of don't realize how many seats it kind of changes and you can add in. We've got 15 on that one. Because uh, if the new fire emergency is devastating, I want to see uh, what happens. We might lose a few folios, and that's not my fault. That's your, you guys' fault, okay? Because you wanted it. I kind of want it to. Uh, but we're going to select the flight. Uh, we'll fly to... Let's go to Tahiti. No idea why. I'm hoping it's going to be sunny there. Uh, create my flight. I won't do any spins just yet. And then we'll go and get this rocking and rolling. So we still got a long way to go for my safety rating for my EIJ-145 um, pilots to kind of get up and running. Uh, but I need to do the, the cabin fire. So like I said, boys, it says here, right, fire emergency updated and sound effects added in. I'll be the judge of that, baby. I'll be the judge of that right now. So let's go and see what they've done to this new update in this new, well, not well, this existing disaster. So people are all out and about right now. I love the fact that the airports are so lively. I can't believe this. This is such a basic feature down here. Locate the flight. Tells us where it needs to go. But it points us. Once the plane is pointing upwards, you know that's a direction you've got to go for your gate. It makes so much sense. So much sense right now. So let's start boarding the economy. There's actually quite a few passengers. How many are we actually getting? So from the 15 we could have had... We've getting 14. So we're only missing one passenger. That's going to be interesting. That is going to be interesting, boys. So let's get on the plane right now. Uh, is there any napkins I've got to sort out? Normally there's napkins. Uh, by the looks of it, no. We're kind of okay there. Nothing that we need to do. And um, I was going to do the safety demo, but I have no AI to do it for me. Because, you know, I do be lazy. Right, last few passengers are getting on the plane right now. And little do they know, they're going to get turned into roasted marshmallows. Oh, dear God. Now, before we do anything, boys, there was something. Hello, hold on, hold on. Close the door. The Close the door. Welcome aboard the shut the overhead lockers. One second. Wait for the captain today, to finish speaking. This damn folio doesn't want to shut up. Thanks for flying with this us. damn folio does again, not want to shut up. Thank you, Captain. Now, previously, the cabin fire disaster used to, when it appeared and started burning people, it used to eventually spread through the whole plane. And believe it or not, you could turn everybody into a roasted marshmallow. But for some reason, the developers then decided that uh, they're going to cap it. And it only now grows or burns in a small radius of the plane. I want to know, one, why did they do that? And two... Have they changed it in this update? Can we still burn? Well, can we now go back to the old ways of burning the old plane? Or does it only still stay within a certain area? 
I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure right now. So where are we? The baggage is all done. Um, the fueling is about to be complete in just a moment. And there's nothing else I kind of need to do. I can pretty much just get rocking and rolling. So I'm just going to skip the taxi. And I'm going to take off. Because I want to see if we can burn these... Oh, look. It makes me sound so evil, doesn't it? It really does. But I want to see what the new disaster, new effects, new update is to this current disaster. So the planes that take it off. We're going to skadoodle in the air, boys. We're going to skadoodle in the air. I'm kind of excited about this. I am low-key excited about this. The plane is flying high into the sky. Pilot's doing a fantastic job as always. Fantastic job, baby. And we just wait for them to level out. And then we can jump up, serve the passengers. One thing as well, I don't do cabin fire enough as a, as a disaster. So I always forget at what point does the emergency trigger. Is it when we're halfway serving them? Have we got to serve all of them? Uh, is it when we start picking up the trash? I actually don't know. I actually don't know right now. It's going to be interesting. This is your it is going to be interesting. The deck. We have reached so, our cruising altitude. The flight attendant should hope everyone's feeling good. Service shortly. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Um, you may want to take off your jackets and coats because it's going to get a little bit warm in here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it's going to get a little bit warm in here right deck. now. We've been told so I could grab to the food cart right now and start we'll serving everybody food ride, and drinks. Expect some bumps over the next couple of minutes. No problem, man. And I will see how far I can go right now before the emergency gets triggered. Oh, I thought the emergency was getting triggered then. No, it's just turbulence, boys. It's just turbulence. Give them some chips. And over here, we're at the peanuts right now. We're at the crackers next. So I'm pretty much almost done all the food side of it. And now we're going to be moving on to drinks. So I'm not technically served half of the cabin yet. But we'll see how far we can get. Oh, I missed the water here, didn't I? Yeah. You fool. Right. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I just, I just done three coffees in once. This is your captain. Oh, the fire! We have a fire in the cabin. Right, we have a fire. Attendants, use your fire extinguishers to put the fire out. Okay, I'll put the fire out. So we got to grab the fire extinguisher. Normally, it used to spawn in our hand. And does the fire spread? That's what I want to know, boys. The plane is currently on fire right now. It used to spread. Oh, there's a plane down below. That's close. Um, oh, I think it's actually spreading, isn't it? Is it actually spreading to burn everybody? Guys! Can you hear the crackling sounds of the fire? It sounds like we were around a bonfire right now, and then we are roasting and toasting those marshmallows and making some delicious s'mores. Guys, is the fire spreading? It's quite far. Do I get burnt? No, I'm unburnable, boys. I am unburnable. Now, I don't know if it spreads, if it is spreading or whether it stops spreading. Is this the maximum kind of space it can kind of go? If this dude here starts burning, then we know the fire is still spreading right now. Is it evil that I'm oofing people? Kind of slightly is, isn't it? Right, the fire does not want to spread any further, boys. That's a shame. The fire used to spread all the way through the cabin. And now look at it. Weak. Weak. But it's not going to go any further than this. I like how she died. She put a train in the upright position. That's hilarious. She died, but she was very considerate and she put the train in the upright position. I like it, boys. I like the sounds. It does sound like a bonfire. But I really wished the fire spread to the whole plane. It used to do it. And now I'm just kind of low-key sad. Sir, you are so lucky. He's got a worried face. He's like, uh, Sadiac, can you put the fire out, please? Fine. I'll put the fire out. Right. There we go. There we go. Now, what's different about this is you have to get the fire extinguisher yourself. You used to... Well, before, you just used to spawn in your hand. But look at me right now, boys. I am so damn good. So damn good. I just put all the fire out right now. Nothing's stopping you, boy. Nothing is stopping you, boy. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Don't worry, guys. Crisis averted. I will now come round and collect the trash. This is your captain from the flight deck. 
We have started our initial descent. Oh no, we do need an initial descent. Soon. Thanks for flying with us, and we hope to see you again. No, we are doing trash. Pick up your trash, pick up your trash. Thank you guys. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for arrival. So, from the 14 people that were originally on the flight, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six remaining. So, eight people died. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not going to get a good rating. I'm not going to get a good rating for this. I really am not going to get a good rating. I might get arrested. I might get low-key get arrested. Right, let's begin the landing procedures right now. It was hilarious. Don't get me wrong. That was hilarious. But also, um, how do I put this? Very dangerous, boys. Very dangerous right now. Right, the um, landing gear is now out. I want to see what my rating is going to be like and how much money I do earn. But we've made it all the way to the sunny, beautiful place of Tahiti. I thought Tahiti was going to be really sunny right now. Turns out, no. No, it is not. It is miserable. But the landing? Ooh. Guys, rate that landing in the comment section right now. That, I'd give that a solid 9 out of 10. I think I'd give that a solid 9 out of 10 right now, boys. That was pretty smooth. I liked it. I liked it quite a lot. Right. Very good, boys. Very good. We now made it here. And what gate are we now going to? Gate 2. So gate 2 should be... I think one of the early ones. I think it's one of the early ones right now. Not too much we've got to kind of do to get over there. And are we on time? That's the most important thing. Are we on time, guys? So departure time, we were on time. Uh, arrival time, 8.30 p.m. Ooh, no, because it only counts when you open the door and we're 15 minutes away. I spent way too long. I got delayed. The cabin fire delayed us, boys. The cabin fire did low-key delay us right now. Right, I'm in free cam. I'm in free cam, boys. I'm in free cam. What we got over here right now? We got a Latam. Oh, we got an Air France. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And where is the... Where are we going to right now? Oh, wait. It's over here, isn't it? It's right next to the Air France. God damn it, boys. Why they got to put your boy next to that plane? Why they got to put your boy next to that plane? Also, if, the, if there was an A380 here, if there was another one here right now, the wing for that one would clip into that. That's dangerous. Throwing it out there right now, that's very dangerous. That's very dangerous, Tahiti. Allowing A380s to park up like that. Very dangerous. Right, plane coming in. Plane coming in right now. And you can see the dude over here right now ready to wave his hands. He's, he, he do be looking happy. Oh, there we go. He got the hands in the air and he waving them like he just don't care, boys. He waving them like he just don't care right now. You've got to love this free cam, boys. you got to love this free cam right now. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, oh. This is amazing. Oh, so amazing. He got his hands in the air and he waving them like he just don't care. Right, we should see the ramp get a bit closer. Which, these are not air stairs. Remember when they meant to add in air stairs? What happened there, boys? What happened there? The baggage is now being unloaded. There's actually quite a lot of baggage in there, considering for the plane. There is actually quite a lot of baggage. I wonder if it, like, they cap the baggage or something like that. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Right. Let's open up the doors. Let's get everybody off here right now. No cabin cleaning services because this is not a multi-leg flight. And uh, we now need to go through all the overhead lockers. And boom. Where's my money? Did I... Oh, I missed the first one. Uh... <laughs> So I got a five-star quality, a five-star service right now. That's hilarious. And I got a zero out of five for safety. Why? What happened, guys, where the flight was deemed unsafe? I don't know what happened. Maybe it was that eight people got roasted into marshmallows right now. But on the plus side, I did get 980 Skybucks. So not bad, right? Not bad at the end of the day. Goodbye, Fool's Air. Goodbye. <laughs> 
boys we are gonna end it here right now what do you think of the update of that i really wish that the fire spreaded like it used to it used to when they first implemented the update i have no idea what they changed it maybe it caused a lot of lag in the game maybe that's my only understanding especially if you do it for an a380 maybe that's what the real issue is why they capped it but i would love it back i like the new crackling sounds on the fire they do sound pretty pretty juicy but um yeah what do you think I still think the new depressurization update is absolutely amazing. But we'll end it here, boys. Hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.